Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph and wanted to know how you could make that in Corel. Well, I'm just kind of looking at it. It looks like the lines are twice as thick as the openings. So we're just going to do this. And it's probably easier to count how many there are. So if we start with this one right here, counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12, because I've already counted that one. So there's 12. So the way I look at it, uh, that center part could be put in at any time. So it might be easier just to draw a circle, make it any size. Let's, let's make it uh, 16 inches with our ratio locked. So I'm gonna, so it's perfect. And then I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. I don't make the duplicate eight inches, so it'd be half. I am gonna take, and you could do it either side. I'm gonna select both of them and I'm gonna hit R to put them both to the right. And then I'm going to click on the little circle and move the rotation to the center. And I'm gonna rotate that 20 degrees. Control D, it didn't rotate it, put it back to zero. So now we got a 20 degree. I'm gonna smart fill that. I am going, whoop. I am gonna see what my nudge factor set at. It's set at 10. I'm gonna nudge that out of the way. I'm gonna get rid of these two ellipses and nudge this back. And then I'm gonna zoom in here. And remember that this is 20 degrees, so we're gonna duplicate it. And remember I said that the parts look like they're twice as big as the opening. So let's rotate it 30 degrees. 60 degrees, and then control D all the way around. Now, I think we're, I think that's exactly what it is. That looks pretty close. Now what you could do is left click, right click. And if we were gonna make this bigger, we could, I mean, if they wanted exactly, you know, just draw an ellipse, about that side, hit P grab them all and weld them. And let's even use a blue, a smart fill, blue. Wow, it's even the same color. Anyway, somebody must have drawn that in. Well, I don't know, can't really tell what, they call it a spinning wheel, RGB, wow. So, Whoever do that, maybe drew it in Corel. I think we're dead on. I mean, this is half the distance of the, because, you know, if you think we we made that 20 degrees, we did this one 10 more degrees. And you could do that with any, um, this video didn't take very long, so what did it add to it? Let's do the same thing. Control D and make a duplicate of that. Make the next one eight. This time I want to hit L and put it to the other side. Doesn't really matter. I could have put top and put it to the top. Move that rotation quadrant to the edge. And this time, let's rotate it just 10 degrees. Whoop, I didn't duplicate it. And now let's fill in that. Same thing. Basically, that's a good way to make a crescent. We're gonna take that and nudge it out of the way twice get rid of our circles, our ellipses, nudge it back, double click on it and move the rotation to that edge. And this time we're gonna rotate it 20 degrees. I didn't, and you know, you can always go backwards. So now our lines and our negative spaces are equal because we just did half. So let's do this, and that's almost hard on your eyes. We're gonna left click, right click, just take an ellipse, and this is why I work in the center of the page. We'll make it a little bit littler, so I'm gonna hold down the shift key so it'll grow. Weld it, and what the weld does, it looks like it's not, 
going to smart fill, but did it again. It does. That's a pretty cool effect. I wonder if we took, let's hit P, control D and make a duplicate and make the duplicate yellow and then mirror it. Look at that. I think we, I did a video almost like that, but I think we had rounded corners. And then if you rotated it 10 degrees, well, we can't make a live action to get it to do it. Well, you could do it like this, but you're not going to see it move. Anyway, I hope it helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.